Hello everybody, my name is Paul. I work for a company called Micrographics in Cape Town. We are an Autodesk reseller. We'd quickly like to discuss today, especially with new versions of Revit, but also existing ones, where you would get hold of your content libraries to install. If you've installed your Revit software or any Autodesk software for that matter, you will see on your system tray that you can navigate to Autodesk Access. I find the easiest route into your Autodesk account is by clicking on View All Your Products and Services. Of course, you have to sign in. View All Products and Services. <coughs> that will open your Autodesk account. Otherwise, go to manage Autodesk, manage.autodesk.com. It is a relatively slow website. So it should take a few seconds to open, after which you will see all the products that are available to you. Now, when the new version of Revit comes out, you will see that you can search for downloaded content online. So if you just say um, Revit Content Library 2025, say for argument's sake, then you'll see a lot of questions you can go through your account. But if you go to 2024, then you'll see, oh, you can download your 2024 content, all right? So while this is available, with the new versions, you have to go through your account. But if you've got available on your account, then if you go down to Revit, you can also search, but there's Revit. And remember, your Revit libraries, you can use them with Revit Ulti as well. But there you can go to uh, View Details. If you view the details, there are various tabs, just wait for them to appear. One is updates, extensions, and libraries. And these are available for 2025, 2024, 2023, 2022. If you go to the libraries, you will see that there's a multitude of libraries that you can download. If you wanted to roll this out across your organization and you don't want to transfer these large files and you just want the guys to download it, you can also say, right, well, Here's the UK content for Revit 2025. Now that's what we in South Africa normally use because we're sort of more closely related to the UK way of doing things. The United States, of course, they've got the most metric and imperial. It's a bit of a larger library. It's about two gigs as opposed to one gig. And uh, that's usually relevant to, to, to software manuals as well. So from a usage perspective, in South Africa, we often use the UK library, so that's one to download. You can see, okay, there is a download button over there. What happens if I right click on that? Nothing yet. All right. What if we click on download? You can see it's busy downloading file. All right. If we open that and we right click over there, we can copy the download link and we can then pause. So this download link is what we can forward our colleagues by an email and they can just click on that to download the content. All right, so if you want to roll this out across your org organization without sending them large files, that's one way you can do it. So we normally do the UK. Do we just download one fully and then you can actually see what it looks like. Okay, it's downloading. Then uh, there's the US, the United States. Um, there's the United States content, you can see about two gig. That's both metric and imperial, that's why it's so large. Then there's an interesting one, the, the Revit fabrication content, metric and imperial. When we work with HVAC, HVAC ducting, piping and that sort of thing, we can, for those of us that do Revit MVP, we can create a job with fabrication components that can be spooled onto fabrication equipment within an HVAC manufacturer. So directly from our Revit model into the manufacturing environment. But you can see the version over there for the content. It's 4. What's 2.4 rather. Fabrication content 2.4. Now there's a much better one. And if you do have somebody, Revit and CAD MEP actually shares this fabrication MEP. So if you can get hold of somebody to share with you fabrication MEP's library, or if you have access to that, that is first prize. 
There's the fabrication CAD MEP software. Again, you go to View Details, click on View Details to open it. And under the Libraries, you'll see that they've got a, a, a Autodesk Fabrication MEP metric content 8.2. And that is the one that I would recommend you use. That's also got Revit components. Revit actually reads these components. You can see it's 8.02 versus 2.4. Much better to use this one. So do yourself a favor and install this or ask your manufacturer, even me, if you want. You can contact us at Micrographics and ask us for that fabrication content. We'll send you the link exactly as before. Okay, then after this is downloaded, you can just run this exe file directly from where you've downloaded it and that will install onto your C drive usually on your C drive you would have to set your computer to view hidden items in which case you will see the program data folder you can see it's, a, it's grayed out it's a program data folder in Autodesk and uh, R for Romeo, V for Victor, T for Tango it'll be listed per year there's 2025 and this is what the content libraries will install like there's your libraries it's English and we've got South Africa, UK and US and within that you will find your families in addition to the families In the libraries you will also have your templates installed in the case of the south african library you'll find that we've got an english south african structural template and again on the structural side and the families you'll see that there are specific steel shape codes for south africa both in the columns and the framing this is what you can get from the south african steel manufacturers shape codes and also the South African rebar shape codes okay so that's with regards to installing the software and getting the download links from your account and just note that if you are into MEP and fabrication get hold of the fabrication CAD MEP library either from your colleagues or from me I hope this has assisted you going into the future with your new versions of Revit as well and until next time enjoy your Autodesk software